As the release of GPT-5 is imminent, it's good time to take a pulse on the AI industry and see how OpenAI's next release fits into the broader market. Anthropic has been completely dominating in the coding industry, and with the advancements in open models like Moonshot's Kimi K2 and Alibaba's Quen3 Coder, we're seeing what they're capable of for much less at a very minimal price, and the anticipation for GPT-5 has gotten even more tense ever since. One interesting angle is how the pricing will work for the GPT-5 model. For example, Anthropic's pricing is $50. $15 for million input tokens for Cloud Opus 4 and $3 for million input tokens for Cloud Sonnet 4. And meanwhile, open models like Kimi K2 is priced at a range of $0.15 cents to $0.60 cents per million input tokens. And for Quen3 Coder, pricing is at around $1 to $6 for million input tokens depending on the token size. So the next question is, how does this look like for OpenAI? OpenAI casts a much wider net in pricing that covers a spectrum of $1.10 for the O4 Mini to $75 for the GPT-5 models and all the other models exist in between these two price points. Although OpenAI's pricing seems a little bit chaotic, all these models that we see do serve their role in the marketplace with their own unique strengths. For example, GPT-4.1 is usually used for coding tasks, O3 for great reasoning abilities, 4.0 for good conversationalist, 4.5 being a super academic, and O3 Pro for extra great reasoning abilities. However, given this landscape of price and unique strengths, the difficult part for OpenAI's next step is pricing on GPT-5. It's rumored that OpenAI will reuse their Infinity Gauntlet to combine all these disparate models that have their own unique strengths into one unified model called GPT-5. And as you can imagine, OpenAI is in quite of a bind when it comes to pricing because consumers are expecting less unless the model's performance is significantly better than all the other models that already exist in the marketplace, especially for the models that were released between their latest release of O3 Pro in June until today. OpenAI has already spent a half a billion dollars in training for GPT-5 that lasted around six months. And we're yet to see how this amount of compute and training stack up against existing models in the marketplace that we use on a daily basis. While pricing still remains a bit speculative, much of the anticipation around GPT-5 centers on their performance, especially in reducing hallucination and improved reasoning. Hallucination happens when the model predicts the output not based on factual truth, rather drawing on training data. Essentially, the model prioritizes the sentence sounding more plausible rather than factual. Hallucination typically occurs occurs due to saturated or biased data sets that are used in training or just lack of reasoning skills. We're hoping to see that the $5 million investment that OpenAI spent to train GPT-5 will significantly reduce hallucination for the next release. Aside from metrics like price and performance, there are adjacent features that are starting to become more appealing to end users. For example, we're seeing more focus on multimodality, speed, memory, and tool usage, all of which are more use case oriented than the model's shears intelligence. This has gotten more important recently as the models are starting to converge in quality, meaning that most state-of-the-art models that are used today are becoming harder to distinguish beyond what's already shown in the benchmarks. So the delineating features for GPT-5 could be from adjacent features like multimodality with video input, which would be amazing to share video recording of UI UX bugs, or token output speed, which is typically measured in tokens per second, memory, which is the ability to remember past conversations and context, and higher reliance on tool calls, especially as agentic usage of these models are becoming more and more common. All that to say, each release made by OpenAI carries strategic weight because it's not only an announcement to the public, but it's also the public's judgment on OpenAI's capability, much like technical analysts in Wall Street waiting to downgrade stocks on bad earnings call. And as we've seen in Kimi K2's release, the market moved extremely fast after the announcement of Kimi K2, which was shadowed in merely 14 days by Alibaba's Quen3 Coder. OpenAI must maintain a large enough margin for their next release especially competing against faster moving companies like Moonshot, DeepSeek, and Alibaba.